Super excited for today, y'all. Today is one of the best days a man or woman can have in their entire lives, and that is the day they're picking up a brand new motorcycle. Ordered this bike a couple months ago, and it's finally in. Look where I'm at. They've got Triumph, BMW, Cadi, Ural. Which one do you think I got? Which one of those brands? They're all parked out here beautifully. I'm in North Dallas. This is technically BMW of North Dallas. And I'm here to pick up my new BMW. Y'all may have seen in my past videos, I'm getting rid of my Jeep Gladiator. You can find a link right there if you haven't seen it uh, because I'm looking to buy a new campground. I'm getting rid of the Jeep Gladiator because this year is gonna be more about motorcycles and I wanna ride more motorcycle brands. I wanna do more videos on motorcycle. I'm gonna have my biggest year in motorcycle travel on social media that I have had since my Scoot in America days. Maybe even bigger in some way. So I'm getting rid of the Jeep because, well, I got it for me and my boy Scooter because he wasn't real comfortable on motorcycles anymore. So I thought him and I could do truck trips in the Jeep. It's got climate control and um, unfortunately he passed. I can't really talk about Scooter without giving y'all a Scooter montage. Let's have it. There's absolutely no way I can explain it. It's just been uh, heartbreaking for me. I feel like I've lost my identity. And also, I just don't feel like the Jeep off-road videos are gonna be in my future, so I'm getting rid of it. And I decided to put the money into opening another campground to serve veterans. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Haven't made any decisions yet, still hunting the property. <sighs> Full circle back to BMW <laughs> of North Dallas. I'm here to pick up another motorcycle, which I'm gonna be riding on some of these trips this year. Like I said, one of the biggest years I've ever had in motorcycle travel. So I'm excited to be riding all different kinds of bikes through this year. BMW is gonna be one of them. Let's go see if we can find my bike. A little tidbit of information. I've got a little history at this dealership. This is where Ashley bought her BMW that she rode on the Transamerica Trail with me. Actually from this dealership and now I'm back getting another BMW, but it's not a GS. This is a super ultra sexy over the road road bike, not a GS. It's BMW's new uh, efforts into the American bagger touring world. Look it. Now this is not my bike because I did not get the fairing, but this is their fairing edition of this bike. All blacked out here. Oof, man, wait a minute, did I make a mistake? Look at that thing, all blacked out. That is gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a beautiful bike. But neither of those are mine because I went no fairing. I have a few baggers with fairings. I wanted something, no windshield, kind of old school classic. The style of this new R18 is just sexy to me. It's very James Dean, it's very vintage, it's very cool. So I wanted to have one without a windshield that I could just feel old school on. And it's something I don't have on my motorcycle roster. So it's it's a new, it's a new, oh, I'm just so excited, I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's, let's find my bike. Okay, y'all, moment of truth, one of the best moments when getting a motorcycle is taking care of that paperwork, and I got my boy Cliff with me today. Cliff, take care of it, man. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Are you as excited as I am? I am. I want to get you this bike, and I want to get you on the road. <laughs> Let's get in here and take a look. In the lion's den, about to make it happen. So basically, your warranty on all BMWs is three years or thirty-six thousand miles. We've got the uh, official paperwork. We've got the official key and one thing i want to tell you guys about this is it's a first edition you see that on there first edition that means something special it means i get this super rad collector's box which was super important to me to get so i want to show it to y'all but i don't know if we're going to get the box first or look at the bike first let's find out totally up to you man so first edition r18 there you go copy of your first edition paperwork copy of the BMW motor ad make life a ride bike and then the most badass awesome round L's you've ever seen that are brassed out those are bad along with the accompanying screws that go with that so everything will match whenever you put it in there those for screws you. are brass yes in an R18 hat and an R18 hat word we are in business baby oh look it white glove treatment even white glove <laughs> this is for when I'm working on my fancy badges I love it dude I love it love love it 
Thank awesome. you so much for making sure I got the box. Too. Oh man, absolutely. That, that That's actually my pleasure. meant a lot to me. Okay, so tell me where's the bike? Bike is out front. That's the easy spot. Come All on. All right, let's go look. That's all you. Brand spanking new. It's got eight mi nine miles on it. Nine I saw miles. the paperwork. Dude, you're like Riri. You're shining like a diamond. This bike is so sexy, man. I'm just telling you. So sexy. So, right hand bar is a power button. It says PWR, turn that on, you'll see your dash kick over. Once your dash kicks over, then you can hit your starter button. Yeah, man. You guys, when this thing starts, it shakes like an old Chevelle at a stoplight. Wow. So sexy. All right, y'all. As you can tell, I'm extremely excited about this bike. It's just something different than I've ever had. It's a completely unique motorcycle. I mean, look at the size of that motor. That is just huge, huge engine. Drive shaft, no belt, no chain. And it's just... It's just gorgeous. Now I do have quite a few modifications I'm gonna do to this. I've got some blacked out kits for it and some different bars. I'm even modifying the seat and some other things. But uh, as everything across the world is right now, things are hard to get and back ordered. So we're gonna build it as they come. I'll be sure to keep you up to speed with what I all do to modify this. But it's a, it's a first edition R18. It's mine. And now I'm gonna take it for a couple hour ride back to the K River. We made it, and I got to say, it looks a whole lot better sitting in my driveway than it did at the dealership. <laughs> at least it's better for me anyhow. I'll tell you, uh, the bike rode great. It did cool off quite a bit on the ride home. It ended up being about a three hour ride home, and uh, I used the heated grips that come factory on this thing the entire way. It was a nice little touch to have. Been a long time since I've gone that far on a motorcycle with no windshield. It was fun, and you know what? It slowed me down a little bit. It made me just slow down and enjoy the ride a little bit more than I do when you got the fairing and all that in there. You just tend to crush down those miles. <laughs> when your face is in the breeze, it slows you down a little bit, and uh, it was kind of a nice thing to, to enjoy. The bike rode perfect. We're gonna take a lot of trips together this year. I can't wait to share them all with you. Y'all remember to stay stubborn. There's a lot of people who are gonna go out and say things to me like, oh, you got a BMW now. Don't matter to me, man. I love to ride. I love to ride multiple types of motorcycles and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what I enjoy and what I love and I can't wait to put this completely unique and different motorcycle with this parallel twin engine. Just look at the way those jugs stick out. Completely unique, completely different from anything else I have, and I'm excited to put some miles on it. Y'all stay stubborn too. No matter what's going on around you, you don't let other people push you around. You do what you want. You stay focused, you stay stubborn, and I'll see you in the next video.